Well, good morning, Pine Belt. Another summer day ahead for you to start off your week for your Monday. The sun officially joining us about 10 minutes ago. You can see that it is up, lighting up the sky. A few breaks in there even, but a good bit of cloud cover right now. We'll see that thin a bit. Also, kind of misty out there in a few areas. Generally, the north central Pine Belt up in the about the Collins to Moselle area had about half. So, no major issues once again. Slightly misty out there, nice and mild in the low 70s. Mid 70s are on the high end of the area on the southern uh, side of the Pine Belt there. For Hattiesburg, as we head into the afternoon, now that the sun is up, we'll start warming pretty quickly. Upper 70s, enjoy it while you can because it, especially a little further south, it really does, it hasn't dropped out of the 80s, it's felt like, since uh, for about the last week. As we head into the afternoon, I expect slightly above average high of 93 degrees, so not dramatically hotter than it has been, and even not uh, ridiculously hot. But that's enough to give us a heat advisory, and that is in effect until 8 p.m., uh, for a good number of our Pine Belt counties, right through uh, kind of the center from Simpson down to about Forest and Perry. Uh, but honestly, not all that different of a, of a day than what we have been seeing. We'll see a few showers, very few of them. They will be out there showing that it's happening about late morning to the early afternoon. And then after that, it's pretty much nothing but mostly sunny to partly sunny skies. I expect it to kind of bounce between about 25 to 50 percent cloud cover. And the only and not even really weather related issue in the area right now is this flash flood warning, which did take me a second to confirm what was going on here. The Archusa uh, Dam apparently failed in the area. Uh, so if you live along the Chickasahay from about Quitman, just south of DeSoto there, um, it seems like a pretty dramatic uh, situation going on from all the updates that, uh, that we're getting in the area. So if you live along that, be cautious. There may be a lot of water rushing towards you. It may be happening now. It may be imminent. So just be aware of that if you live along uh, that river up here in, uh, in Wayne County uh, towards northern Clark. So just seems to be a, a bad situation over there. Uh, because that area didn't really receive all that much rain over the weekend, so I was very confused as to why that was coming out uh, so early there. Um, basically nothing within the last 48 hours up there. So watch for flooded areas, even though you wouldn't expect to see any, because, uh, again, not a weather-related issue there uh, with that dam breaking. As far as our afternoon goes, thank you. We will be spared uh, major activity. There's not much of a threat of severe weather. There's no official risk, not even a level one right now. But as we often say, I would say if we head into the afternoon and any of them grow any more than that, just keep an eye on them. There won't be very many of them. Where they do pop up, they may try to do something. This one's a little bit more robust, uh, much, much more ridiculously so robust, if you ask me, as far as where it's propagating them and when, uh, but kind of giving you the same idea. Expecting to see showers dying off pretty quickly as we head into the afternoon and the heat of the day. We'll see those spotty showers here and there. So not expecting many, but there will undoubtedly be at least some fewer in the days ahead. In fact, none, I would say, from about Tuesday all the way potentially into Friday. I've given that one a 20% right now because uh, it looks like from about Friday to Sunday, it's going to be a pretty broad area of, of just disturbed weather moving in. So we'll lock the timing down on that when we get a little bit closer. But this is the big issue, especially with those afternoon showers falling off. We're going to be sitting in the uh, very hot, dangerously hot areas as we uh, head into the next couple of days. And you see that doesn't change very much. Very strong upper level high sitting there. We get a little bit of a break over the weekend as a trough builds, and that's when we see that, uh, that rain start starting to move in, which you can see right here. So that cools us off, but without that, it's very, very hot. And once that trough breaks, that heat builds right back in. You see we're already above average again by next Wednesday.